Hello friends, uh, this is a quick example and uh, illustration of how we can use you know order flow to validate our support levels and resistance levels and then trade from it. Okay, so in today's example, I'm going to talk about what happened in the Bank Nifty charts today uh, and why did we anticipate a support and all that. I think we see we picked this area as a support which is around 540 areas and we said you know selling completely stopped here and then there is a long trade opportunity at this uh, from this place. Okay. On bank nifty why did we first of all even look at this level as a level of interest okay so if you look at the bank nifty charts okay this is today's chart uh, so if you look at the normal charts essentially so if you, if you see this is to, today's chart and uh, you know we opened uh, sort of gap down and then you pulled back below so why did we identify this as a resistance what happened on a couple of days back is at the same level market you know uh, gapped up and then found support here and then here and then you know here so essentially if you see it created a small value area here where the high was there and low was there so the value area low was about 550 540 ranges okay this was the same region if you see five value area low so because market uh, failed to you know create a value lower than this range is 550 that means there's a lack of interest from you know traders to trade below these levels okay so now since we have that fact, uh, all I'm trying to do is I'm not trying to predict the market or anything. I'm just trying to, you know, I we planned our levels and then we are just trying to execute a trade or observe the order flow and then try to find whether my levels are good or my levels are not holding bad or anything. Okay, that way. So that is the, how we identify the levels. Now we come to the order flow part of it. Okay, Once we identify the levels, great. Now we want to see whether we can, you know, really trade off it or not. So what was my observation there on the order flow part today? I'll just expand it for one minute. So my observation was two things okay once we are breaking down into this level 540 550 levels okay uh, the delta was pretty good on the sell side okay this was about 20k then 15k but if we see this candle eventually was a uh, you know uh, was not able to see much of selling in terms of price movement okay compared to this candle okay and then we had a counter buying delta as well in the next candle here so this was one sign where despite a lot of selling prices are not able to you know go down or there is some hidden orders we don't know at this point yet but what happened in the next candle if you see uh, you know buying uh, started coming in here also there was a buying at eight and if you see large buying but here there was a much larger you know there was larger buying at a much higher level so essentially buying started coming in overall this candle closed positive so that becomes a sign for you that okay this level is probably holding and then we want to really long this level okay the other clue here is okay forget if you're not able to long immediately here the other clue is here is when price starts coming back to these levels okay again look at the deltas the deltas are much smaller in number okay at this point so they are not really worth you know significant delta so that means what the selling pressure which was seen here is 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 not there anymore okay this is a much lower selling pressure here okay right again so again we come to this candle we again have an absorption at you know uh, where a sell is coming but they could not do much so this became a clue that this level could really hold and we could see a push from here and so we eventually saw a good move from those levels okay in fact i think this level again came back third time also which is which is rare that third time also same levels will work so i was not trading this level at this point but again if you see very similar pattern to the first time what happened a lot of selling pressure counter delta buying delta and then eventually prices pull back from there okay guys this is how we you know try to observe and anticipate order flow we look at it around our levels of interest and then we see that whether you know our thesis or plan or map is you know market plan is working well or not and for that level okay hope this helps you you know in your future trades as well thank you